I know a lot of men, a lot of survivors that I've talked with, and everybody's got a different story. With mine, um, he had me trapped. I was trapped. Um, so the abuse continued for two, two long years, primarily because I couldn't think of a way to get out of it. Started when I, from when I can remember in my earliest recollections. And my sister was being abused that way too, quite a bit. Uh, on top of that, I had a lot of um, severe physical beatings. You never knew when they were gonna happen or why. I never really knew ever why. I did not realize that what I was going through with my grandfather was sexual abuse. I had no name for it. And then it started to hit me like, oh my gosh. And I was around 12 years old when I had this realization. And from then on, it was just, I was consumed with shame and confusion. Vera House was like my lifeline. Vera House, I've described it as the keystone of my recovery team, my support team. They are extremely compassionate. I have found out who I am. I've really gone back and examined myself, examined my philosophy on life to find out what was important to me. and. They've helped me every step along the way. It's vitally important for me to have that support, that ongoing support. I always thought that I would outlast my perpetrators, but I, I didn't count on not being able to outlast the effects of the abuse. And that takes a long time. It's, it's not something that you just get cured of, you know, in a month, and a year. It's something you work on all your life. I have very high regard for, for Vera House. I think the work they do is so necessary, and for some people, probably a lifesaver. And, and if it weren't for them, who else is gonna do it? When I was a kid, there was nothing like that. In the 50s and 60s, if you had a problem, you knew that there was nowhere to go. And if you tried, they just deliver you back home and it got worse. So I think it's really wonderful that people have this as a resource. It has been an honor to work with everyone at Vera House. There are individuals at Vera House that I have shared my journey with and I have shared my past with, my truth. I've learned more about myself in the last six and a half years than I've learned in a lifetime. And I truly believe it is because I'm surrounded by people who notice and people who care and people who just want to be there for others because they realize how important it is. And so I would like to just say thank you. Rather than consider yourself damaged or the cause of the abuse or something less than anyone else. Remember that it isn't your fault. You don't have to carry it with you. And you can fight back. I think just being able to be without memories coming back, just be without the background chatter. I wanna prevent abuse wherever I can. Education's always a big part of that. I wanna help people who are holding in their secret to divulge and get some help. And I, I wanna be, I wanna continue to be a nice person like I used to be when I was a little child. I'm, I'm that same person again. My hope for everyone that we work with, for myself, is that we all find freedom. And what I mean by freedom is, is I mean to rediscover the person that we were before everything happened.